Leading presidential candidate Keiko Fujimori is being investigated by the state prosecutor for links with drug trafficking. She is the daughter of former head of state Alberto Fujimori, who is serving a prison sentence for crimes against humanity and corruption. Analysts assure Keiko's campaign is receiving drug money. There is economic support from Luis Calle Quiroz. Although I'm not going to mention names, there is also the presence of prominent members of two powerful cartels who are party leaders today. Therefore, I don't have much of a problem in affirming that there is a financing from drug money. It is very clear. Luis Calle Quiroz is wanted for drug money laundering by the U.S., and his donation has been acknowledged by Keiko's campaign. Her party's links to drug trafficking started during the government of her father, when the presidential plane and Navy ships were caught with tons of cocaine. Also, in 2013, a location owned partly by Keiko's brother Kenji was raided and over 100 kilos of cocaine were found. An investigation by Congress into funding for Fujimori's campaign was archived before starting. There's confabulation in a way with Alan Garcia, who is investigated for ties with drug trafficking. Mr. Cunha, who also has links and no one knows where his fortune came from, and there is Miss Kaiki Fujimori, they have controlled the Congress. They have made a diabolic alliance, which is making things in a brutish way. Most citizens we interviewed in the street were not aware of these developments, and the few that responded had diverse opinions. There is a majority of votes, and that is why it ends up being shelved. If they had a process of investigation and they shelved it, they must not have a cause or motive. It always ends up in speculations and accusations, and there's never anything concrete. The support shown in polls indicates that the most likely scenario for the elections in April is that Fujimori will pass to a second round to dispute the presidency with one other candidate. Rael Mora, Telesur, Perú.